I am Jessica, worker home mom behind the Crafty Gal Diapers, and today I will be showing you how to do blind elastic in a surged diaper. The first thing I will do is that we are going to run a basting stitch to guide our elastic. So you will want to turn your upper tension, mine is normally at three and a half, down. My machine I can do about one and a half and get the right setting. You will want to turn your stitch length to the longest stitch length, minus five. My machine gives me the option of moving my needle left, right, or center. I'm gonna use my needle to the left in this instance. You will want to gauge your seam allowance properly according to your machine. I have my machine set to A, which is a straight stitch, and I have it set to all the way to the straight stitch. You do not want it to be. Now that you have set your machine to a basting stitch, you are ready to baste your layers together in preparation for your elastic. As you look at my diaper, you'll notice that I have already pinned my start and stop points, as well as a pin in the middle to keep the fabric together to prevent it from shifting as I'm stitching. The diaper that I am sewing is a cotton velour inner, polyester fleece outer, hidden, <laughs> and a cute print knit outer. You are going to want to stitch about 3 eighths of an inch to half an inch from the edge, depending on your comfort level. My needle is shifted to the left, which is about 3 eighths of an inch, and I like to give myself just a little extra room. Make sure you do not sew over your pins. You are also not going to want to start back and back stitch. If you do that, you will not be able to get your thread undone. We have turned the top tension down on the machine so that we can easily pull the thread out when we are done with our elastic. I do apologize, my machine is slightly loud. <laughs> we are just going to stitch the length of our leg. Once again, make sure not to backstitch at your end, just as we do not backstitch at our beginning. Trim your thread, and we now have a nice basting stitch. After you finish running your basting stitch, you will want to switch your machine back to a three-step zigzag. First, turn your upper tension back to three and a half. Next, turn your stitch length back to the stitch length that you would normally use, my machine I like, on four. Then we are going to want to turn our machine to a three-step zigzag. When you look at your machine, you will see a zigzag that has three lines for each zig. That is your three-step zigzag. It gives you the best stretch for your elastic. So I need to change my machine to C. I like manual machines. And then we are also going to want to turn it to the widest zigzag length. And center our needle. You are now set to a three-step zigzag. Now that you have your set your machine for a three-step zigzag, you are ready to insert your elastic. To do our elastic, I use one quarter inch elastic. Three eighths inch elastic also works really well for this. Take your elastic and feed it through your diaper. I'm doing a newborn diaper right now, so it's a little snug. It's a little easier with one size diapers. Make sure your elastic is flat as you're pulling it out, and you're going to line your elastic up to the end of your basting. When you baste, you want to be very careful to start at the, stop, the point you marked, as that is where your elastic is supposed to start and stop to give your diaper the proper fit. Now, my machine, always make sure you put your pressure foot down. My machine is obviously a very manual machine and as such I'm able to manipulate it a lot easier than a lot of the electronical machines. 
So you will have to find a way to tack down the end of your elastic that works well for you. My machine, I can just kind of hold the fabric in position and it will do a three step zigzag without moving and I will get a nice strong hold. You may have to put your machine to a straight stitch for the start and stop and go back and forth a few times to get a strong hold. So make sure you that your basting stitches, which I have done white basting stitches, so you can differentiate, are way out of the way. And tack down the end of your elastic, which I very carefully placed, matched up to the basting stitch. Go back and forth a few times, or back and forward as needed. When you're doing elastic, you will always want to stop with your needle down. Now, if you have ever done elastic sewn into your seam allowance, this will come pretty naturally for you because you're stretching it the same as you would for seam allowance elastic. If you've never done elastic, you will want to play with your elastic. As you stretch the elastic, push the diaper out of the way, as you stretch the elastic, you'll kind of find that it has a, a sweet spot where you pull it and all of a sudden it doesn't, it's, it's getting snug. You don't want to pull it as tight as you can, but you want to pull it until it hits that snug point. Make sure your elastic is nice and flat. You don't want any twists. And pull that elastic until you hit that snug point. Okay. You are going to be feeling with your hands. So as I'm doing this, this is the preparation portion of this. As I'm doing this, I'm feeling with my hands to make sure that my elastic is all the way next to the basting stitch. The basting stitch helps us get the elastic nice and straight. So feel your entire way. Make sure the basting stitch is next to it and then to sew. So you always want to make sure your needle is down if you pause while you're surging the elastic because if you're pulling on it, it will pull out from under the foot. Okay, so start stitching. You want to make sure that your stitches do not go over the basting stitch. So always end down. Because you are doing a leg curve, it will be curving and you do want to stop and readjust as you go. So continue. Stop with your needle down. Readjust. Make sure your bottom layer, fill through both layers, make sure your bottom layer is not wrinkling at all. Continue. Make sure you pull your basting stitches out of the way. You don't want to catch them up in the machine because you will see why in a second. Continue stitching. I always have one hand helping guide the back of the fabric. one hold and hold an elastic. You have now stitched down your elastic. Snip your threads. Trim your elastic. I glued myself at least a quarter inch. And now comes the tricky part. This is the reason why we did a lowered top tension when we basted. If you find your bottom string from your basting stitch and gently pull, you will find that it slides right out. And then after your bottom's out, you can just pull your top. Trim your stitches from the other end. And we have blind elastic. Have fun.